Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the load event handler and how we use it in document loading. Now, if I was to go ahead and use document load, we know that that uh, allows us to know when the uh, DOM has been uh, loaded and we can start you know, manipulating different elements on a page or, or, or anything on a page. However, if we were to go ahead and look at the example of a large image with a slightly larger file size, let's say we wanted to take an image and know when an image had been loaded into the DOM. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and outline this image. In fact, let's take a look at this in comparison to document load. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just create some content on a page. So we'll just say content. So now on our page we have this. When we go into uh, ext.js, which I've included on my page just here, so that's that script's included as an external file, we can often use document.ready, and in here we can define a function uh, for when our document is ready. So for example, um, show a dialog box like alert, or an alert box saying ready. So we have this uh, alert box up now uh, when uh, our DOM is available. Now let's just go ahead and take a look at um, a larger image. If we were to have say um, an image here uh, that was say berlin.jpg and we're just going to go ahead and assign a, oh no we won't assign an ID to it quite yet, but we'll go ahead and use document.ready with a function inside uh, that will run when our document is loaded. So this is going to be alert ready. Now when I refresh my page, this, Im this image is about one or two megabytes in file size. So you'll notice that the alert box will appear instantly, uh, even before the image has loaded. So let's go ahead and refresh. You can see that we have this alert uh, box appear but our image in the background hasn't loaded. It hasn't even begun to load. So now when I press OK, you can see that the image, um, the rest of the image uh, begins to load. And we now have this image inside of our browser. Now let's go ahead uh, and take a look at what's going to happen if we want this to happen after the image has loaded. So we can either go ahead and use window.ready, uh, which is in another tutorial, and I'll talk about that in another tutorial, or we can assign an ID to a particular element that we want to check for loading. And this can be applied to iframes, images, etc, etc. So I'm just going to call this image image, so I'm going to give it an ID of image. Now inside ext.js, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this particular image, so image, dot but I'm this time I'm going to use load so we're looking at the load event handler I'm then going to go ahead and define the function inside of this and just bring it down so what we've done is we've we're essentially checking when this image this this object or this uh, element in our page has loaded we then run some code so we can run again alert image loaded so now what we're doing is instead of using document.ready, we're checking when a particular uh, item has been loaded. So in this case, we're going to say image loaded when this image is loaded. So if we go back to here um, and refresh the page, you can see that the page has actually refreshed and the image was loaded in the background very quickly because it will already uh, be present in my browser cache. So now we have this image loaded um, alert box come up but the image had already loaded before this had happened so let's just take an example if you wanted to go ahead and perform some kind of um, you know jQuery operation on an image for alignment purposes or whatever you wanted to, to do you're looking at making sure the image loads before you start this code so for example you could say image.load and then you could go ahead uh, and apply some code directly that, to do with the image. So you'd want the image to load before you'd be able to perform anything on the image, you know, anything to do with the image. 
So using the load on a particular element is helpful because you can then go ahead and actually wait for an element to be loaded. And like I said, this uh, can be applied to uh, other things such as iframes. So for example, if you had an iframe here, go ahead and outline this. And then you had uh, the source of this uh, being, for example, Google. What you'd then do is you would come in here and you could obviously assign an ID to this iframe. And we'll just call this iframe. And we could then go ahead and just reference this as iframe.load. And then we could say alert iframe loaded. So now when we go ahead and refresh, we make sure that's loaded, which it had, before we got this um, dialog box up. You'll probably notice that it did a bit of loading in here before that happened. Let me just refresh again. You can see that it all loaded before this happened. Uh, we'll go ahead and select another website just so you can see that once more. So let's go ahead and choose phpacademy.org. Now when I refresh, that waits once it's loaded we see iframe loaded so now that we've looked at this we can go ahead and we could also apply that to for example all images on a page so you could say img.load all images loaded so we're using a selector but we're selecting globally across the DOM all images so now what we could do is go ahead and apply um, an image in fact, let's take a look back at the iframe example because this uh, shows loading a lot better. I'll go ahead and choose um, google.co.uk um, and let's go for ebay.co.uk just as an example. We can go ahead and get rid of these IDs because they're not, they're not relevant in this case. We're going to be selecting all iframes. So iframe.load all iframes loaded. So now we're using selectors in this case um, to select all iframes and once they've all loaded we say all iframes loaded. So this is going to take slightly longer than we've looked at before so when I refresh you can see that we, it waits for all of all three of the contents to load uh, before this happens. Oh well it will happen for each one sorry. So yeah, um, as I've just said, it, it happens for each iframe as each frame each iframe loads. Uh, however, we need to look at the possibility of checking if um, all of our elements have loaded rather than straight after the DOM has been initialized. So in uh, the next tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the alternative to this uh, where uh, we look at when all objects in the page have been loaded. Uh, and then we can say go ahead and alert something out.